Often we go through life without our beliefs really being tested to see if we have the backbone to stand against adversity. This is what made Jesus stand out in a crowd because he exuded a kind of spiritual authority that they had not seen before. A good litmus test for your convictions is if it's just a lot of talk as opposed to walk. True deep-seated convictions bring about action that cultivates change. Jesus spoke with great authority, but that authority would not have meant anything if he hadn't been willing to walk the long road, carrying Calvary's cross, to what appeared to be the ultimate final last stand for what he believed. Are you willing to die for your convictions, friend? If you truly desire to be conformed to Christ's likeness and become a Christian with a character that's more than one-dimensional and has not only depth but width and height as well, you must be willing to take the next step into destiny, defined by your willingness to take your convictions to the street. As you do this, the shallowness of your rhetoric will begin to resound with great authority that will cause those around you to take notice. Not unlike Jesus with respect to these people who had differing opinions about who he was, you also will face those who won't be impressed no matter what you do. But real change of heart comes from you being willing to personally yield to what the Holy Spirit desires to do in your life. You can prove to yourself and God that you're serious about becoming that three-dimensional Christian by putting your prayers into action. Ask the Lord to change your attitude about what the Spirit's convicting you of.